Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I rise today to recognize a giant of the great state of Georgia, which the presiding officer and I both have the distinct honor of serving, to recognize a true legend of the U.S. Senate, an extraordinary father, husband, and representative of our state, the late Senator Johnny Isaacson. Mr. President, Senator Isaacson served Georgia all his life. Born in Atlanta, Senator Isaacson attended the University of Georgia, then enlisted in the Georgia Air National Guard. He was a successful private businessman, growing his real estate enterprise to one of the largest in the state. He served in both the Georgia House of Representatives and the State Senate. And Governor Zell Miller, a Democrat, appointed him, a Republican, to chair of a state board of education. In 1999, Senator Isaacson was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, where he worked to improve American K-12 education. And in 2004, he was elected to this body, where he would serve for almost 15 years with courtesy, dignity, and kindness, supporting and championing bipartisan efforts to better serve our nation's veterans. And his service culminated in his chairmanship of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee and of the Senate Ethics Committee. And Mr. President, as we will hear from our distinguished colleagues who served alongside Senator Isaacson, like Senator Blunt, Senator Isaacson, through his uncommon decency, his generosity of spirit, his commitment to integrity and service of others over service of self, won universal respect in this body, won respect in the state of Georgia that crossed party lines, and earned a reputation not just nationally but around the world for statesmanship, effectiveness, and hard work. But Mr. President, even more important than his work as a statesman, Senator Isaacson was a father and a husband. And I want to recognize Senator Isaacson's extraordinary family, including his wife of more than 50 years, Diane, his sons, John and Kevin, his daughter, Julie, all of whom I've had the pleasure of speaking or corresponding with in recent months, and all of whom in their lives carry on the senator's legacy. Senator Isaacson had a saying, Mr. President, that there are just two kinds of people in this world, friends and future friends. I hope we can all be inspired by that aspiration and that outlook, by his resilient desire to see the good in everyone, to see the opportunity to work with anyone, to try to find where our interests align, where we can meet eye to eye, where we can get things done together. Senator Isaacson's courtesy, collegiality, and integrity will forever serve as an example to all of us who serve in this body today and in the future. And that is why in recognition of Senator Isaacson's tremendous contributions to American veterans, to the state of Georgia, and to the United States, it has been my privilege to introduce, alongside my distinguished Republican colleague from Missouri, Senator Blunt, and the presiding officer, Senator Warnock, the Senator Johnny Isaacson VA Regional Office Act to rename the VA's Atlanta Regional Office after Senator Isaacson as part of our nation's ongoing recognition of his service and as an example to those who follow in his footsteps of the virtues that his representation embodied. I thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for their support of this legislation. We will hear from Senator Blunt, Senator Warnock, to share their experiences working alongside and knowing Senator Isaacson in just a moment. But now, Mr. President, let's get this done and take this action 
to demonstrate our enduring respect and admiration for this extraordinary American statesman, Johnny Isaacson. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee be discharged from further consideration of S-4359, and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. The clerk will report. S-4359, a bill to designate the regional office of the Department of Veterans Affairs in metropolitan Atlanta as the Senator Johnny Isaacson Department of Veterans Affairs Atlanta Regional Office and further purposes. Without objection, the committee is discharged and the Senate will proceed with the measure. Mr. President, I further ask that the bill be considered read a third time and passed and the motions to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President.